Good morning, everybody. I will present the work entitled Proactive Protection Scheme, the Wind Energy Conversion System. Use the double feet induction generator. Whose authors are Stefano de Oliveira, Washington Araújo, and Wellington Mota. This presentation is divided into introduction, methodology, which address grid disturbance of GFID wind turbine, selection of the crowbar resistance, and analysis of the control strategy of the crowbar, results and discussions, conclusions, and some references. The demand for electricity has grown exponentially, bring to the energy issue to current focus. Due to scarcity of natural source to the concern for the environment, renewable energy source are playing an important role in the energy matrix. Among renewable source, wind energy is one of the most important and promising. With the rapid growth of wind farms in recent years, the high penetration of wind energy has brought challenges to security and stability of power systems. Grid codes have become increasingly strict, especially for high power wind turbines WTs, which are required to stay connected during the majority of grid faults. The WFED induction generator GFIG topology allows variable speeds operation. This topology presents a good balance between cost, effectiveness, and the basic requirement of variable speeds operation with independent active and reactive power control. The crowbar circuit showing figure 1 is marked with a line that's connected to the convert at the roller side. When a momentary voltage sags occur, the roller side convert by pair circuit would activate to release the surging current. GFIG technology is sensitive to grid voltage disturbance. For wind generators of doubly fed induction, the abrupt fluctuation of stereo voltage may cause both overcurrent and overvoltage of rotor side. And several auxiliary hardware and control strategies have been proposed for WC protections. When momentary voltage sags occur, the rotor side converted by pass circuit would activate to release the surge current. Generally speaking, as the resistor increases, the full roll current and electromagnetic torque would become smaller, while the DC link voltage ripple would increase greatly. Thus, a novel method is proposed to evaluate our response GFID during the several voltage sags. The appropriate crowbar resistance depends on the roll current and the DC link voltage magnitudes. In order to evaluate the protection of renewable energy source integrated in a power grid, the fault transient characteristics need to be analyzed. When a fault occurs, the GFID is not only affected by coupling effects of stereo rural, but also affected by LVRT. The equivalent circuit of GFID systems show in figure 2 where RSC and GSC represent the rural side convert and grid side convert, respectively. The AC GC AC convert generally use the pulse width modulation PWM control mode to provide excitation source. During the short circuit, the voltage drops abruptly, causing serious problems for GFIG. Due to the partial scale back to back convert, GFIG wind turbines are extremely sensitive to voltage drops. 
The transient process of GFIG is based on the analytic expression of magnetic flux because of the continuity as states variable. Currently, LVRT operation of GFID can be realized by adding a hardware circuit. The crowbar circuit is a simple and effective method to realize LVRT operation. The main idea of crowbar circuit is that when a GFID row short circuit current of DC bus voltage increases to a preset threshold value, the signal should turn off all power electronic switch device in the rural side convert is issued so that the GFID rollover over current and state of current during a grid fault can be suppressed and the GFID can remain in a grid connected operation. The equivalent circuit of GFID is shown in figure 3 when a voltage drops occurs in a crowbar activate quickly. The rural current after voltage drop consists of two components. The first one is the transient attenuation component that is caused by a grid voltage drop. And the second one is the steady state current attenuation component. The phase of voltage at the stereo and the roro are obtained by equation below, where P is used to describe the severity of the voltage drop, 0 less P less 1. For instance, if the stereo voltage drops to 20% of its nominal value, then P equals 0.8. When the grid voltage sags to a great extent, the additional crowbar hardware device must be used to ensure the LVRT operation of wind power system. When a momentary voltage sags occur, the active rural crowbar is triggered to effectively limit the rural over current and protect the DC link capacitor. To describe the influence of crowbar resistance on DC bus voltage in rural current two indexes, LV1 and LV2 are proposed. The crowbar line voltage must be kept below in the rated bus voltage and thus the crowbar line voltage can be used to calculate the bus voltage index. As the rotor voltage is governed by the DC bus voltage, the transient short circuit current becomes less dependent on the crowbar resistance. Thus, the index value will be determined for the DC bus voltage ripple. So, for an adaptive selection of crowbar resistance for different degrees of voltage sex, it is. Crowbar resistance selection is given by adaptive control of mathematical ratio. The control diagram is shown as in a figure 4. By monitoring the stereo voltage, one can have the stereo voltage sex degree, then by use PWM on has the final IGBT control signal. For PWM control, the voltage is controlled to 0.9 PU while in the one-off control the bus voltage takes alternatively 1300 V limit and 1200 V normal until the rural side convert starts to work again. From the flow chart of the proposed control showing figure 5 the process begins with detecting the degree voltage drop and the calculation of resistance on the degree of voltage sex. When detecting the rural current DC bus voltage is checked whether of then exceeds predefined thresholds. Then the crowbar resistor is inserted in the circuit. 
With the proposed controller, the resistance of the crowbar resistor is different according to the different degrees of voltage drop. In order to verify the effectiveness of the crowbar resistance variation control strategy through the symmetrical and asymmetrical false degree of a SEG, a GFID equipped wind system is simulated on the MATLAB Simulink platform, which includes a wind farm with six 1.5 megawatts GFIDs. The crowbar is installed parallel to the rotor side convert and the simulation parameters are presented in the table 1. The wind turbine is connected to the bus H of the IEEE 14 bus test system as shown in figure 6 and faults are inserted in the bus 4 and 6 and 12 simulated at t equals 3 seconds and cleared at the t equals 3.5 seconds. Figures 7 and 8 are the simulation results of GFID systems without crowbar protection. It can be seen from the figures that before the faults occurs, the main voltage remains constant. The GFID's operation is normal status. At time t equals 3.0 seconds, a grid fall immediately reduces the wind farm export voltage and the stator voltage drops to 18% of normal value. Figure 7 50% Figure 8 at the same time, the rural current increases rapidly and the overvoltage appears on the DC link bus. The low voltage ride through behaviors of GFID systems with rural active crowbar protection are present in the figure 9, 10, and 11. The system detects the fault at time t equals 3.0 seconds. Then, put it on the crowbar protection and shut off the rural side convert. In different voltage sex degree, the influence of rural current and DC link voltage is considered and different crowbar resistance should be selected according to their relevant requirements. To demonstrate the advantage of the proposed strategy, they were simulated for two different degrees of voltage sex. The black curve presents in unprotected systems, the red curve the proposed method, and the green curve the traditional method. According to the results, the proposed systems present better results, as it manages to maintain the nominal voltage of the bus and has smaller variations in activities and reactivities power, respectively. As shown in Table 2, for different degree of voltage sex, the influence of rural current and bus voltage is analyzed for different resistance. For each degree of sync, a resistance value is calculated. Present a resistance selection method and efficient control strategy to improve the LVRT capability of GFID system. In the average time, a method of weighted integration to evaluate the response of GFID system with different crowbar resistance is proposed. The proposed control approach can realize the control of the resistance according to the voltage seg degree. The PWM control provides with smoother bus voltage performance during the voltage dip. Results show that the proposed method can improve LVRT capability of GFID-based power system under different voltage sex degree. Some pertinent references were present in this work. Thanks.